Let's make this injection icon on PowerPoint. First, open a black side like this on PowerPoint, then go to Insert, go to Shapes, and pick this rounded rectangle over here and just drag it out like this. Done. It should be big like this. Alright, done. Then just smooth it out a bit. Nice. Done. Then what I'm going to do is go to Shift Fill and make this this red color like this and then go to Shape Outline and make this no outline. Done. Then what I'm going to do is press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then you'll have another shape over here. Then go to Shape Outline and make this this light ash color over here and go to Shape Outline again. Increase the weight to maybe about 4 and go to Shape Fill again and make this no fill and put it right on top of it. What you're going to do next is just click on the red box down below and decrease the size a bit and put it right over here and put it like this. Done. Now for the second part. You will just click over this and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and make it go to shape outline and outline and make it this ash color. Done. And round it up a bit. Then minimize it a bit like this. Done. Then press Ctrl Shift or maybe just press Ctrl D to duplicate it and put it right over here. Then press Ctrl D, 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 Ctrl D, keep pressing Ctrl D to duplicate a lot of times. Done. Then just select over all of this, go to format, go to merge shapes and union them together. Done. Now just drag them like this and put them right over here so that it serves as the you know, measurement of the injection. Done. For the next part, we're going to drag over this, all over this, and press right click and group them together. Then group them and just minimize it a bit. Alright, done. For the next part, what you can do is create the you know, needle, and it's quite easy. Go to shapes just, and what you're going to do is create this rectangle over here and just drag it like this. Yep, done. Then Create this shape outline and no outline, so the option will disappear. Then go to insert again, go to shapes again and pick this right angle triangle and just drag it like this. It should be the point of the needle. And go to shape outline and click on the no outline option and the outline will disappear and just place it nicely, the needle on the top. Done. Then I'm going to drag over all of these two, then merge shapes and union them together and then minimize this and put it right on top of the injection so done our injection is done I'm gonna go to shape outline no outline I'm gonna shape fill and make this this color done or uh, maybe a bit lighter tone if you will yep, it matches and uh, maybe put uh, something else like this same side round the corner rectangle right over here so that it adds a bit more physics to it I guess I click on this to make this the same format. Done. Then what I'm going to do is just drag over all of this, right click and group them together and minimize them a bit or maybe that leaves them right there. Next what we're going to do is go to insert again, go to shapes and pick this rectangle over here and just drag it over here. Done. Then go to insert again, go to shapes and pick this same side rounded corner rectangle and just drag it like that. And smooth out the corners. It's done. And minimize it a bit. And it will serve as the piston. Now drag over this to go to format and shape outline, no outline, and make this black. And go to merge shapes and merge them together. Done. And then minimize them a bit. Alright, done. Then what I'm going to do is just go over here and minimize it a bit. And press on uh, right click, group them, and ungroup them a bit. Because I have to do something. I'm gonna put this piston right over here. Yep. And I'm gonna, you know, this red thing over here, increase the size a bit so that the this red thing is above the piston. Alright, now to be a bit detailed, I'm gonna go to inside, go to shapes, and pick this rectangle over here and just put it right over here. And click on this to, to match them together. So it looks like that the piston is pressing the liquid. Then I'm going to click on this detail over here, right click and bring to front so that the marks are in front and it serves as the measurement. So our piston is almost done. You can say 
for some extra detail if you will I'll go to insert go to shapes and pick this rectangle over here and drag it over here yep. done and I'm gonna make the shape out of north line and make this white so that it serves as a reflection if you will of the vessel I'll create another one and put it right over here done so our piston or maybe injection is ready so I'm gonna drag over all of this maybe right click a bit group them together done and we have our syringe ready syringe icon ready made on powerpoint completely thanks for watching for more of these videos don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this youtube channel